Have you ever wondered where mathematics, this universe's universal language, originated from? Let's turn the clock back, way back, to the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia and Egypt. Here, the foundations of mathematics were laid, with the use of arithmetic, algebra, and geometry for a myriad of purposes. Even today, we marvel at their architectural wonders, a testament to their mathematical prowess. One of the most notable mathematical developments from this period is the Pythagorean theorem. Yes, the one we all grappled with in high school, named after the ancient Greek mathematician Pythagoras. This theorem has been a cornerstone of geometry for over 2,000 years. Speaking of the Greeks, they revolutionized mathematics by introducing deductive reasoning, expanding the subject matter far beyond simple calculations. Their mathematical theories and proofs continue to shape our understanding of this vast discipline. Not to be outdone, the Romans too made significant strides in mathematics. They applied mathematical principles in various fields from engineering to astronomy, showcasing the practical applications of math in everyday life. As we journey further east, we encounter the ancient Chinese mathematicians who made their own impressive contributions. They introduced a place value system, a fundamental concept that forms the basis of our decimal system today. Additionally, they weren't afraid to venture into the negatives, introducing negative numbers into the mathematical lexicon. From the Pythagorean theorem to the place value system, our ancient civilizations laid down the first bricks on the road of mathematical journey. Let's now turn our attention to two mathematical phenomena that have intrigued scholars for centuries, the concept of zero and the Fibonacci sequence. Our journey begins with the Mayan civilization where the concept of zero was developed. An ancient culture, the Mayans were ahead of their time, grasping the profound idea of nothingness and its numerical representation. Zero, a concept often taken for granted, drastically improved calculation methods and played a pivotal role in the evolution of mathematics. Next, we shift to the Fibonacci sequence, a series of numbers where each number is the sum of the two preceding ones. The sequence starts with 0 and 1 and unfolds as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on. This sequence was discovered by Leonardo of Pisa, known as Fibonacci, in the 13th century. But the Fibonacci sequence doesn't stop at being a mere mathematical curiosity, it has real-world applications that are truly fascinating. Its pattern is found in the arrangement of sunflower seeds, the spiral of a pine cone, the proportions of the Parthenon, and even in the structure of DNA. The journey of zero and the Fibonacci sequence is a testament to the universal reach and applicability of mathematical concepts. Next up are two mathematical marvels that have shaped our understanding of mathematics and the world around us. The Golden Ratio and Euler's Formula. Let's start with the Golden Ratio, a seemingly magical number approximately equal to 1.618. Discovered by the ancient Greeks, it's found everywhere in the spirals of galaxies, the proportions of the Parthenon, even in the arrangement of seeds on a sunflower. This divine proportion, as some call it, is a testament to the harmonious relationship between mathematics and nature. Then we have Euler's formula, named after the Swiss mathematician Leonhard Euler. This formula, which beautifully combines five of the most important numbers in mathematics into a single equation, is a cornerstone in the field of complex numbers. It's not just about numbers, though. Euler's formula has far-reaching implications, impacting everything from electrical engineering to quantum physics, lending a hand in our understanding of waves, oscillations, and numerous other phenomena. The Golden Ratio and Euler's Formula. Two concepts that continue to influence our mathematical understanding to this day. Finally, let's delve into some modern mathematical developments that have revolutionized the field. Kicking things off, we have Ramanujan's Infinite Series, a fascinating challenge to what we thought we knew about mathematics. This series, conceived by Indian mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan in the early 20th century, provides extraordinarily accurate approximations of PI. Ramanujan's work, though initially met with skepticism due to his lack of formal training, ultimately expanded the horizons of the mathematical world illustrating that sometimes the most groundbreaking ideas can come from the most unexpected places. Next up, we have Hilbert's 23 problems, 
In 1900, German mathematician David Hilbert presented these problems at the International Congress of Mathematicians in Paris. These problems, wide-ranging and deeply complex, have guided much of the progress in mathematics throughout the 20th century. Hilbert's problems not only posed challenging questions, but also created a roadmap for mathematical research, proving that sometimes the question is just as important as the answer. Last, but certainly not least, we have the four-color theorem. This theorem, which states that any map in a plane can be colored using four colors in such a way that regions sharing a common boundary do not share the same color, has a fascinating history. It was first proposed in the mid-19th century, but a proof eluded mathematicians until the late 20th century. Its eventual proof, made possible with the aid of computers, sparked debate about the role of technology in mathematical proof, underscoring the ever-evolving nature of the field. From Ramanujan's series to the four-color theorem, modern mathematical developments continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. So there you have it, a journey through the fascinating history of mathematics. We've traversed from the cradle of ancient arithmetic, taken strides with Zero's evolution, hopped with Fibonacci's rabbits, marveled at the golden ratio, and reveled in Euler's genius. We've even touched upon the modern marvels of mathematics. Each chapter, a testament to human curiosity and intellect. While we've covered centuries of mathematical history in a few minutes, remember this. The story of mathematics is still being written, and you could be its next author.